this video, we are going to look at the different authentication possibilities that we have in Cloud Docket to connect to your Microsoft Azure environment. So the first, once you have logged in successfully, then you are at your select your platform screen. You have access to all of the different platforms that we have. As I mentioned, we are going to focus on the Microsoft Azure in this video. Um, if you have not yet reached this step and wondering how to log in and to get ready to select your platform, we do have a video available for that. So be sure to go and uh, check the description where the link is available to this logging and product key activation video. And uh, for those of you who are at this step, let's dig right in. So let's go ahead and press on Microsoft Azure. And from here, we have three different options as far as authentication goes. So the first option is keep going with this account. So what this account signifies is that the when you logged in, you enter a tenant name, you were brought to the Microsoft page, if we're talking about Azure, for example, and then you enter your Azure credentials to log in. And what we can do with this one is it actually going to go validate within the tenant you have logged in with, which subscriptions you have access to, and allow you to document these subscriptions. So pressing this button, since I am already logged in using my Azure credentials, it's bringing me to the select your subscription screen where I have a drop down listing me the different possibilities here. So let's move on to the second option, which is use another account. This use another account button comes really interesting if you're a consultant, for example, and you move left and right between different clients and you want to document your different clients' environments and provide them with documentation on work that you have done or anything like that. And use another account, what it gives you the ability to do is to actually define a different tenant than the one you have logged in with. So from here, you can come in and enter your customer's tenant, press continue. So this signs you out of your own Microsoft tenant that we have logged in with and gives you the ability to use another account to log in. So let's go ahead and press use another account. We are going to enter the credentials that our client has shared with us so that we can authenticate. So user email, Let's enter the email here, press next, enter the password, and press sign in. And the con we have a confirmation in the upper right corner that we are really logged in with these new credentials because you see right below our email address is the message mentioning you are currently logged in as Cloud Docket Demo at Pascal Bonner want to do on Microsoft.com. So we really are in authenticated under these credentials under our client's tenant. So pressing on the Microsoft Azure button here, what this does is it's going to go and see which subscriptions these credentials have access to and list us the ones that we can document. So from here, you select the subscription of your choice, press continue, and you can generate your report or diagrams. And the last option that we have is under Microsoft Azure, of course, is AAD application. So AAD application is if you want to authenticate but don't want to go with user credentials for the authentication process. AAD application is uh, something we're in under Active Directory in your tenant. You can define an application ID as well as an application secret and authenticate with this information instead. Um, this is mainly the case if you wanna document Azure government tenants, you do need to log in with an app, app registration, an application, app, applica AAD application, sorry, um, because user credentials will not do it. Um, so for our example, we're just gonna stick with Azure public. Uh, and let me walk you through the process of creating and app registration to authenticate here. It's quite easy. So I am logging into my Azure portal, then heading over to Active Directory. And from the left menu, you want to select app registrations. So once we have selected app registration, we want to go ahead and press a new registration. 
So we want to create a new app registration to authenticate the cloud docket. So let's give it a unique name. Under supported account types, I am going to leave this as accounts in this organizational directory only. For redirect URI, I don't need to define anything whatsoever. So we can go ahead and press register. And now the information that is really valuable to us is here. We have the directory ID, which is the first information that we needed here. So let's go ahead and copy this to the clipboard and keep it somewhere safe. Um, and then the other information that we have is the application ID, uh, which is the second field that we need to fill up, application ID. So let's go ahead and keep that one as well. I have not saved this tenant one properly, so let's take it again. Perfect. So now that we have our directory ID as well as our application ID, we need the secret. So from the left menu, you have certificates and secrets. So let's press this. And under client secrets, you can press new client secret. And here we can give it a unique name. Um, and as far as expires go, you can define one year, two year, never. This is really up to you. So there is no right or wrong answer. Once you have, uh, you press add. And here at the bottom, we have a value that was generated. Make sure to copy this because afterwards it gets hashed and you will not be able to use it again. You'll need to delete it and create a new one. Uh, so make sure you, you, you copy it and keep it safe as well. So let's go ahead and uh, keep that information safe somewhere on my side. And now the last step is to give access to the subscription that you want to access with this app registration. So I'm going to go under subscriptions. I will select the subscription that I want to give access to. Then from the left menu, I want to go under access control. I want to press add role assignments. Under role, I will select a reader. Reader is all that I need for, for this account. And under select, that's where you enter the app registration name that we have just created. I'm going to go with Cloud Docket, scroll down and select Cloud Docket Authentication. I see that Cloud Docket Authentication has been added properly under selected members. I will press save. And my role assignment has been added successfully. So I am all set and ready to enter the information and connect to my environment. So here I'm going to go enter my application ID. I'm sorry, I'm entering my tenant name ID first, then my application ID. And lastly, my application secret. I'm pressing continue. And this brings me to my select subscription screen where I can select the subscriptions that my app registration now has access to. And pressing continue, I am now logged in, ready to select which reports and diagram I want to generate from here. So this covers the different authentication types that we have available with Cloud Docket with our SaaS version. So thank you a lot for watching.